Hello everyone. Welcome back to another SpaceX update video. Both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship designated for Starship Flight 3 have arrived at the Starbase launch site for their pre-launch testing campaign. Super Heavy Booster 10 arrived at the launch site early Monday morning and is now being positioned between the chopstick arms in preparation for lifting onto the orbital launch mount. According to the current road closure schedule, testing of either the booster or the ship, or both, is expected on Wednesday. SpaceX has officially confirmed that B-10 and S-28 will be the next Starship combo to fly. The OLM legs have been freshly painted, suggesting the completion of repairs to the pad after the Starship IFT-2. On Saturday, S-28 already completed its spin prime test. After a 10-day pause, SpaceX resumed its Falcon 9 launch missions with the launch of the Starlink 634 mission from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. And liftoff of Starlink 634. Go Starlink, go Falcon. Another batch of 23 Starlink satellites was launched at 11, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Range. The first stage Falcon 9 booster, B-1081, launched and landed for the third time. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. Blue Origin's launch of its new Shepard, 24 or NS-24 mission faced a delay yesterday due to a ground system issue. However, the company has announced it is now targeting a second launch attempt today with the launch window opening at 10.43 a.m. CST. This marks the first launch attempt of New Shepard since its launch anomaly last year. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and goodbye until the next video.